What is going on, my future meta millionaires? It is your boy Terry Stonkers, and welcome to my channel, baby. By the dip. First, I want to start out and say we got it there, man. I'm telling you, and George, we freaking trust. How many times do I got to put it down in your mouth so you understand what's going on? George, doing what's best for us shareholders. Leave it at that, man. Uh, today we got the huge acquisition. We're going to cover that. Uh, the Fentel numbers are also very interesting as well. And we're going to take a look at the price action of MMAT, MMTLP, and go over all that good news. So hope you are ready for today's video. If you are, make sure you smash thumbs up, leave a comment down below. It helps out the algorithm. Here's the bomb drop this morning, man. That's right. Uh, Meta Materials acquires UK-based Plasma app. LTD, and we're gonna get in here and check out the article. Um, here's the article. You can get it from Meta's uh, page, but I actually want to cover it here on the Yahoo Finance, and I want to go over because the font's a little bigger. That's why I want to use the Yahoo Finance, and I want to go over the main part down here uh, before we get into the other details. Is the transaction summary? Uh, this is possibly very good. So Meta acquired 100% of the shares of Plasma app in exchange for Meta common shares with a total value of 20 million. Uh, price at $1.86 based on the VWAP for the 10 trading days ending March 31st, 2022. The transaction closed on April the 1st. So first I wanna say what I liked is there was no cash involved guys. So we know we had $50 million of cash left on the balance sheet. We still have that cash. So we haven't used any of that 50 million of cash in the balance sheet sheet. This was all stock. Now, what we need to know is, did they purchase these shares off of the free float? Were they um, warrants? You know, they do a lot of the warrants and options. So uh, we'll see the details of that. Uh, I know there's emails out there waiting here back from Mark Kamenowski. But either way, um, I think it's very bullish. We acquired another company, even if it is a little bit of dilution. Um, I'm okay if we dilute based upon an acquisition. I think we all can agree upon that. Uh, if you're going to dilute shareholders, it's okay if we're acquiring someone, but we don't know if it's a straight dilution or what it is yet. I don't think it is, but uh, we'll see if we hear back from Mark and get the update information on that. As it looks right now, according to the Fintel, um, it shows the shares outstanding is still the same. Uh, 284 million, 800,000. And that's what it has been since the last month or so, I believe. Uh, so it looks like there is no dilution as of right now. So those uh, shares might have been off the free off the free float, off the market. So uh, like I said, we'll have to wait and see if this updates. We'll have to see if we get any kind of updates from uh, Meta and saying exactly how that detail broke down. But as it looks right now, there is no uh, dilution according to the Fintel here. And they use uh, Source Capital IQ. Let's go take a look at the chart here. As you can see, Meta was up over 10% today. We uh, opened the day at a buck fifty nine, and we hit a high of a dollar seventy six. Um, so yeah, pretty nice stuff there. Ended at a dollar seventy five in the after hours. Let's go take a look at the volume here. You can see, uh, up, ended at a buck seventy five in the after hours, and we actually beat our average volume per day, which is very nice to see. Average volume is five point seven million, and we did over six million. So it's nice to see that we did beat that. And keep in mind, they still have the updated uh, one-year price target of this, guys, at $5.05. So even at buying this at $1.75, they're giving a one-year price target at 5 bucks. That's over 100% profit. I mean, 100% profit puts this at like three fifty. dollars So uh, you could about do another whole 200% gains from the price target on this. So let's go take a look at MMTLP. Some interesting stuff here. I did scoop some shares of this today. Um, I... I want to say thank you to whoever sold me those shares at a dollar and fifteen cents. Uh, I wasn't able to get down here at the minimum though, um, at the dollar eleven, uh, but I did get an order placed at a buck fifteen. Uh, so I'm gonna say thank you to who sold me those shares. Uh, but I'll take it. So it's kind of funny that it kind of ran up and had these big spikes, and we even hit a high here of a dollar thirty-seven, and then it sold off right towards the end of the day. To a buck twenty-two, and it got bought back up at a dollar twenty-four. Um, says here it ended at a buck twenty-six, and it was still up eleven and a half percent today. If you were buying back down at that dollar eleven, 
and we just almost hit average volume, average volume 650,000, and we hit 600 and almost 48,000. We're a few shares away, and some of those are my shares, because yes, I did buy that freaking dip today, and like I said, even if you're just trading MMTLP, you could have made 11% today. I bought at a buck 15, uh, and it's now $1.26. So right there is already gains. I mean, you're talking uh, 11 cents gain per share. That's great gains. Some of the details of this article and just break it down. It says here, the superior coding technology plasma fusion expected to strengthen existing applications and enable new verticals, including battery materials. Now that one excites me um, because we know that we can help out EVs and this company can help out battery materials. That's super exciting. So here it does say uh, that it has acquired the Plasma app in a stock for stock transaction valued at 20 million. Like I said, guys, that is freaking bullish as ever in my personal opinion. And it says here that PAL is the developer of Plasma Fusion, first of its kind, proprietary manufacturing platform technology, which enables high speed coding of any solid material of any type of substrate. PAL PAL's team is located in Rutherford Appleton Laboratories in Oxford, UK. Here it says, Meta expects to apply plasma fusion to the metallization steps and roll-to-roll -roll production process for its nanoweb films as well as color optics, security films. Uh, this is expected to significantly accelerate line speed and increase annual capacity, which is, that's exciting, man. Something to improve our nanoweb and our uh, color optic. That is amazing. And it says here that, uh, this is a strategic ac acquisition for Meta, pairing the best nano patterning technologies with the best coding technologies, Plasma Fusion. It's versatile coding platform technology, which we will believe will improve our existing manufacturing process and expand our IP portfolio and open new markets, said George Palacaris, the president and CEO of Meta. That's right, and George we trust. As we scale our operations, Meta is committed to investing in more sustainable technologies that will reduce the cost and increase volumes in our metamaterial applications. We have had a great relationship with PAL since 2019, and I'm excited to welcome its founder, Dr. Dimitri. I'm not going to butcher the last name of Meta. We expect Plasma Fusion to enable Meta to deliver new solutions at unprecedented scale and cost with semiconductor accuracy and quality. Now, that there excites me about the semiconductor because a lot of the EVs are having problems with that. So we'd like to see that. Now, I'm not going to get into everything else. You can get on here and do that DD of reading that article. Now, what I do want to do is go in here and take a look at the short interest on the Fintel because it is kind of exciting today. I'm not going to lie. So short squeeze score is at 88.93, ranked 136 out of 5,595 stocks. Uh, gamma squeeze score is at 84.25. Look at this here. Short shares that are available is only 60,000 at this leading prime brokerage. and this is what I'm really excited to see. The short borrower fee, it is going up. We're now at a 9.35, guys. That is what I want to see. I want that fee to keep going up. That's right. As you see it here, we were at 5%, 8%, 9%, 7%, 9.35. .9 I love it. Now, just back in March, we were at 10.4. I want to see us get to over 10 again. I want to see that because if them shorts are going to short us, I want them to freaking pay. And we do have the update from the Fender short volume ratio, which is the dark holes, 46.66. And we do not have the update yet for that. So that is what I got for you in today's video. Um, I think I've covered everything. Yes, we got that on Twitter. And George did retweet it as well here, um, saying another great, another great milestone. Meta's world-class nano pattern tech meets breakthrough high-speed vacuum coating tech. Plasma Fusion, new application. So there we go, guys. Uh, that is the updates I got you for you in today's video. Uh, please make sure you smash thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I'll catch you all in the next video, guys. Peace. <laughs>